Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this uh, Thursday morning. So we uh, still have the air quality alert in place across most of Nebraska through noon today. Now, it was canceled a little bit early out west. And as I stated yesterday, there are several surrounding states that do not issue air quality alerts. These aren't issued by the National Weather Service. They're put out by the local state governments and um, the state of Kansas, North Dakota, South Dakota, they don't put these out. So there are no air quality warnings or air quality alerts out there, even though the smoke's just as bad in those locations as well. So smoky, hazy conditions out there this morning. Uh, some of that should thin out a bit this afternoon as winds pick up out of the south, southeast. There'll be a couple of passing clouds as well during the day. Then the focus turns towards north central nebraska as we get into the early evening hour showers and thunderstorms developing probably on an isolated basis i don't think we'll see a lot of activity out there but anything that does develop you know especially if it's a more supercellular nature nature could produce some bigger hail uh some large hail would there be some rotation mm, maybe i don't there's not much of a tornado threat i wouldn't say it's a zero percent chance though could be some gusty winds as well these will all be pushing southeast though as the night goes on and uh, the chances are pretty slim around the Tri-Cities. We're kind of on the very edge of that chance. Chances are better north and east of the Tri-Cities. And if you live to the southwest, you probably won't see anything in those locations there. Uh, I, right, I, right now, I'm thinking it's right around the middle of the night. 11, 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning is what we're looking at in the Tri-Cities area. Eastern Nebraska lingering into early tomorrow morning. But then uh, I think should be dry by the time we get to sunrise tomorrow. As we go through your day on Friday, we're back to a lot of sunshine, maybe some light haze. I don't think the smoke is going to be as big of an issue, though. Warm temperatures out there for your Friday, and then the focus turns to the west Friday evening as new thunderstorms attempt to develop and then push east later in the night into central Nebraska. So we'll have a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms after midnight Friday night into Saturday morning, and that chance will even keep going into Saturday itself. But much better chances are going to arrive Saturday night into Sunday as a cold front makes its way into the area. We could get some much better rain, uh, more widespread rain through the early portions of next week. So for later on today, and this is more so tonight, uh, the Storm Prediction Center does have a marginal risk of severe weather out from about the Tri-Cities north and eastward. The only change is really since yesterday they have added in far southeast Nebraska. Main threats look to be large hail up to around quarter size or so, and some wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Yeah, could there be exceptions? Potentially. I think the tornado threat is low. It's not zero, but it is low. And then we'll jump ahead. There's no threat for tomorrow night as of right now. This is the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for tomorrow night. So uh, nothing for our area. We'll see if that gets changed later today, potentially. And then Saturday, there is a marginal risk of severe storms out for central Nebraska into southwest Nebraska and northwest portions of Kansas. Highs today, a little warmer. We're going to end the week on a warmer note here these next few days. Highs in the 80s and lower 90s. Low 80s northeast to low 90s southwest. Nice cool night tonight, though. We'll dip back into the 50s by tomorrow morning, near 60 in Hebron. And then for tomorrow, very similar to today, low 80s to low 90s, warmer temperatures the farther southwest that you go. And then into tomorrow night, early on Saturday morning, we're talking mid to upper 50s and a few low 60s out there. And then as we jump ahead to your Saturday itself, one more warm day, highs back into the 80s and lower 90s. You can see it if you look up in the Dakotas, though. That's the beginning of the cooler air that's going to dive south Saturday night and into Sunday. And it will feel a lot cooler early next week. And again, along with that, we have some good rain chances as well. So, again, warm the next three days. It'll also be warm in Boulder, Colorado for the Husker game. It looks like temperatures will top out in the upper 80s in the afternoon there. Um, we've got a slight chance of storms tonight, another slight chance late Friday night into Saturday, and then much better chances later Saturday night and into Sunday. We're going to get some good rain, hopefully, out of this. It looks fairly widespread Sunday, Sunday night, and Monday before probably winding down Monday night. Not a for sure thing, but hoping that it'll uh, wind down by then. But look how much cooler it's going to be early next week. Low 70s on Sunday. We won't even get to 70 on Monday. And then those the nights in the 40s, upper 40s, highs in around 70 Tuesday, Wednesday. That is like perfect fall right there. Hopefully, uh, if we stay away from the rain, that is pretty much perfect fall weather, in my opinion. We'll see if there's some rain around. I do. I did throw in a slight chance on Wednesday. One model's actually holding on to some rain even into Tuesday, so 
It's a little up in the air once we get beyond Monday if we'll see any more rain around or not. But as of right now, Husker Harvest Days, the weather's looking pretty decent out there west of Grand Island. We take a look at the long range temperature trends and you can see how temperatures very warm the next three days above average and then much cooler early next week. They'll slowly start to climb back up later in the week as we start to see more mid and upper 70s return late in the week. Um, as for those uh, precipitation chances, let's look at two forecast models. First, the European forecast model. Again, there's uh, here comes tonight's chance of rain and thunderstorms. Northern and eastern areas that have the best chance through the overnight into early tomorrow morning. Then we'll see dry weather tomorrow. Here comes that next chance tomorrow night into Saturday. It's a, it's a slight chance, but then a better chance comes Saturday night and especially into Sunday. More widespread rain Sunday as that cold front's got cooler air is working its way in. Sunday night into Monday, some lingering. This model is not as aggressive into Monday and clears this out for the most part all the way through Tuesday and even Wednesday, maybe a chance by Wednesday night. But certainly uh, the European is not as aggressive with moisture uh, until maybe later next week again. The GFS is much more aggressive with moisture chances down the road in the long-term forecast here. So let's take a look at today. Again, today dry, but then here comes that chance of rain and thunderstorms tonight through early tomorrow morning. Dry tomorrow. Next chance will come late tomorrow night into early Saturday morning, but a much more widespread chance will come Saturday night and especially into Sunday, Sunday night, and Monday right there. There's Monday night as it starts to clear out. This model does keep a little bit around on Tuesday out west mainly, though. And then Wednesday, I threw in that small chance for us in the Tri-Cities area and maybe more chances down the road Thursday, Friday. We'll see. Like I said, the long range models are not in agreement right now, so I don't want to bank on any of that too much here. So look at the temperature trends here across the country here as we look at the next several days, the next 10 days or so. I believe this is the GFS forecast model. We're warm the next three days as that high pressure ridge sits over the desert southwest and inches its way towards us. But then look what comes Saturday night into Sunday, that cool shot of air pushing southward into our area from Canada. Much, much cooler over the Great Lakes. And we'll just be, uh, we'll do, deal with some of it, but the Great Lakes region looks really cool. And then maybe later next week we start to inch up a little bit. Although, we'll see. There are some signs of some warm air coming as we get towards the end of next week into next weekend. Um, the middle of uh, September here. I believe that is uh, September 16th and 17th. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, the European model is probably going to be a little bit different here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to go into editor mode real quick and show you that here. And it uh, takes a few seconds to get that loaded in here, so you have to bear with me here, but I did want to show you what that looks like here. So I'm going to let that information load into my graphic. And here we go. All right, here's the European model. Again, warm today tomorrow and Saturday and then here comes that cooler air Sunday and into early next week Monday and I'll have to slow this down because the information is still loading into the graphic here in fact this is all the far actually you know what I did I, I loaded in the wrong European that's the right European but that's a more short-term European model so it only goes out through Sunday so I need to put the correct one in so I apologize for that uh, there we go I'm going back into editor mode here so again warm today tomorrow Saturday and the information slowly loading in here. All right, there's Saturday, and then here it comes Sunday, cooling down. And then we'll keep that cooler weather on Monday. And again, the Great Lakes region, very, very cool, but we're gonna feel quite a bit of it as well. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now it does start to warm up late next week. We'll see if the European's not quite as aggressive with the warm air, but it does have some warmer air coming in by next weekend, the 16th. and. 17th of uh, September. So just more signs of fall as we're inching that way. We're two weeks away from today, the first day of fall. So uh, yeah, we're getting very, very close here. So, well, I wanted to uh, show you everything I have. That's pretty much everything I have for you for today here. So a lot to look forward to. If you're a fall weather fan like I am, I'm looking forward to the chilly nights and the mild days out there. And of course, I'm also looking forward to the much needed rain that's going to be coming in uh, early next week on Sunday, Sunday night and Monday. So there you go. There is your forecast for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you all again on Friday to wrap up the work week. Until then, enjoy your Thursday and God bless. Bye.